Uh, before I go to the bell and chain animation, I want to talk about the expression engine and expression array in FICAT first. In the expression engine, I want to talk a little bit about the conditional expression. Expression engines use mathematical expressions including conditional expression to calculate the value for a particular field. Conditional expressions used in this example is similar as this variable dot angle greater than thirty question mark fifty colon ten. This conditional expression means if the variable is greater than thirty, when this statement is true, the value is fifty. Otherwise the value is ten. Let's go to the example and see how it works. Create a new file. Go to assembly 4. Create a new assembly. In parts, create a new body. Call it this. In the this, create a new sketch. Call this. Okay. You will see this new panel. So it asks for selecting a reference. So go to model. Select the LCS of the disk. Go back to task. Click paint face. Click OK. Then go to this. Draw a circle. Ten mm diameter. Click OK. Close. Go to parks design pet it four mm okay so go back to assembly four create variable in the assembly so go to this add variable icon okay add variable put Angle. Okay, okay. So you see the variable here. So angle is added. And input the the this into the assembly. Import. See now the this. Insert. Attach the tool. See net parent assembly. So we we'll match the LCS of the this to the LCS of the origin of the assembly. Kay. Okay. And go to the sketch of the D's. Click the diameter. Go to expression engine. Enter the or expression variable angle greater than thirty question mark fifty colon ten K OK K OK so and we can do the animation here so go to the animation icon see the angle set the range from ten to sixty one. So we can change it to loop so we can one several time. The condition is when angle is greater than thirty the diameter changes to 50. Otherwise, 
the diameter will be 10. It is how it works in assembly 4. Expression array use expression engine to calculate the coordinate of the element relative to the position it has been input. When variable change, the element moves according to the new coordinate calculated. So the index is a number assigned to each element in the expression array. Zero is for the first one, and one for the second one, and so on. In this example, I set up a variable angle to move the element from zero to 360 degrees. So minus index times 20 is used in the expression like variable dot angle minus index times 20. So each element is 20 degrees apart. In the example, I will draw a 100 mm diameter circle in the parent system, which is for reference only. The elements are not attached to the circle. The actual path is the coordinates calculated by the expression engine. Create a new file first. Go to assembly 4. Create a new assembly. Go to parks. Create a new body. Name disk. Under the disk, create a new sketch. A new screen will pop up. It asks for selecting the reference. Select the model and select the LCS of the disk and go back to task. Select the paint face. Hit OK. Go to the sketch. It is the default print XY. Create a disk. Ten mm diameter. Go to parts design. Pack it four mm. And hide the disk. Select the assembly. Go to assembly four first. Create a new sketch. Call master. It asks for selecting the reference. Select the model. Select the LCS of the sketch. And go back to task. Select the paint face. OK. Go to the sketch. Draw a circle 100 mm diameter. And import the disk. Select the disk. Insert. From attached to select the parent system, match the LCS of the disk and the LCS of the parent system. Import the disk to the parent system. Then um, create two variables. Take the uh, variable icons. One is angle. And the other one is radius. Okay, okay. So there are two variables created. See that the radius. Change the value to 50. Okay, okay. 
then seed letter this okay expression away a new away is created seed letter away and you see the pacer you know open the position to see x and y go to x and select the expression icon type sign open bracket variable angle close bracket times variable radius click OK for y select the expression engine type cosine open bracket variable angle close bracket times variable radius click OK now we have defined the position of the disk relative to the coordinate of the parent system we import so now when the animation click the animation icon set the variable angle set the range from 0 to 360 the D's move according to the position it calculated by the expansion engine go to the array and change the count to 6 and you still see only one disk here so we go to the array pacer and position position go to x change the angle to minus index times 20 okay same for the for y minus index times 20 okay, okay. you see 6 these will appear and, and when you want the animation they all move along the path okay so go to away again go to show element change it to true so expand the array you will see six elements the first one with uh, index zero the second one is one and then two V four five. So it is how expression array working in VKit. PC part two for the bell animation. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching.